Hello everyone, I'm just, um, I want to tell you all about my rapture dream, um, that I had, um, I want to start off by, like, I think it was, like, three months ago, um, that I had, um, at this time, I, me and my friends was getting ready to go out of town, and, um, as I noticed, as we was getting ready to go out of town, a lot of things were happening to me. Um, as far as my car, I had an accident in my car. My car, um, it had stopped when I was driving on the expressway. <coughs> Excuse me. So one week, the car stopped on the expressway. It, the lights was just flashing all over the dash. Pull it over and get it towed. I finally got it fixed. Thank goodness. It was, you know, some some simple that they were able to fix. Then the next week, um, me and my daughter was in Walmart shopping, and um, I came out. Somebody had hit me, but luckily the lady was sitting out in the car, um, waiting for me to come. Think that was a blessing. Um, I never seen that happen before. I was just, I just thank her for doing that. Um. But everything got squared away and it got repaired with no problem. I was I was really blessed on that incident. Um, I know you all probably wonder like why is she telling me this is supposed to be a rapture dream, but I'm just taking you, I'm starting you off from um how I it all started making sense. So that right there, those two incidents, and what I took out of it was um it was an enemy. The enemy trying to um, stop me in, in every situation. I was like, at this time, I was really close. I'm still is really close to Jesus. Um, but at this time, I was fasting and all kind of stuff. I was, I was on fire for Jesus at this time, like doing everything, um, which I still is. But um, I had just recently started back. Cause I was like, you know what? I've been, I've been really slacking. I need, I need to get back into the word. I really need to get closer to Jesus. Um, I, w I was going ham. So everything was going great. But you know, like I said, the two incidents that started happening and I was like, you know what? This ain't nothing but the enemy trying to, um, is he's trying to stop me. He's, he's mad. He's mad that I'm getting close back to Jesus and he he don't want that, <laughs> so that's how I took it out of that. So um, that same week, me and my girlfriends were supposed to go out of town. Um, that same week, we finally end up going out of town. We got there, we arrived, we had an awesome time. Um, when we got there in town, we the first night, that Friday night, we had went out. Um, it wasn't a club; it was more like a a pub or something like a eatery pub slash where you eat and stuff and have they have drinks there too and um it was really nice the food was good the drinks were very good we just had a couple of wine and you know and we left we got back home we, we got back into the hotel and um we sat and listened to some music and you know just talk chill what you know what you do when you go out of town so I remember I went to sleep on them. I was exhausted. Um, just to remind you, I had been going through a whole bunch of stuff before we went on this trip with the car and, and everything. So that Friday, I was like, okay, I don't even remember. I remember watching TV, laying in the bed. I just went to sleep on them. And um, I had a really bad dream. And the dream really disturbed me. It it shook me to my core. Um, how it started out, as I remember, I was in this house, and I was looking out the window, and I seen um, where cars had, um, I guess they had accidents and they collided and smoke was coming out the cars and people were running rampant um 
it, it was it was um, destruction. That's what I seen. That's how I took it. And as I'm standing there looking out this window, I don't even know—is it a kitchen window or a living room window? I don't remember. It was a window though. And as I'm looking, I'm seeing this man in his car getting dragged out his car. He was a he was a Caucasian guy. I remember how he looked. I never seen this man before in my life. Uh, he was Caucasian. He was kind of heavy set, um, blonde hair. It was like salt and pepper hair. He was older, and. I'm seeing him get dragged out his car by this thing. It looked like it was silhouette. It was clear. You can see through it. And it was silhouette. And he was dragging his man out by his legs. And the man is like screaming and, and pleading for his life. But this thing took him and sucked him up and devoured him. And he would go, the thing would go to another car and do the same with the person that was sitting in there. So at this time, I'm like, oh my God, this is, this is the rapture. Like, what's going on? Like, why am I still here? Like, I, I was, I was in awe. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This silhouette thing, he did the same thing to the other person that was in the car. And as I'm standing there, I'm in fear for my life. I'm like, like this thing's coming for me next. Um, but as I go to turn to walk out, I, I don't know who, why I, I think I was so scared. I was trying to run. I don't know, or either, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just happened to turn, and when I turned, I seen this. Mexican guy he was in the house with me and I'm like what's going on I asked him like what is going on out there I was like it's the rapture I'm believing he was like um yeah I told Jesus I was not ready I couldn't handle it and I'm looking at him like you didn't go with Jesus you are out your mind like I would have been so static for him to call me up like you denied him and I'm here and I didn't even get raptured I'm a Christian like why would you deny that like why would you deny that request for just to go to heaven with him and stay here on this crazy earth here with me and I'm mad at him because he 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 didn't want to go it was like he basically was saying Jesus gave him an option to go or either stay here on earth. And I was fussing at him. I was I was on fire because I'm like, you know, I'm a Christian and I got left behind. I'm here seeing this destruction. I'm seeing this monster or this demon thing sucking up people. And you didn't want to go to heaven. And he was like, his words, he said, I was not ready I couldn't I couldn't take it and I was like well, you can't take it go to heaven and but you want to stay here you can't take it here and I just stood there and then I woke up now imagine I'm in the hotel with my friends I woke up and I woke up. it was about seven o'clock and I woke up I was I was so I was still I couldn't even move because when I woke up it felt to me I was like oh my gosh I got left behind it felt to me like um, Jesus was near it basically I feel like it's it the time is near it's getting close to time for him to come back and uh, claim his people that's how I felt. I was like, oh my God, he's close. He's getting really close. And, you know, I wanted to fall to my knees in that hotel. I I didn't want to even want to wake my friends. I don't still to this day I haven't even told my friend what happened and what the dream that I had. 
I just ended up getting up, going to the bathroom and turning the water on and started praying in the bathroom. Because I knew at that time it was something wrong within me still. The reason why um, Jesus showed me that rapture dream. I think he was basically telling me that I am not ready. I need to fix some things in my life before the time come. He was giving me a warning. And um, I took that warning. I, I, I That whole day I was distraught. I wasn't myself. They was like, what's wrong? <coughs> Excuse me. They was like, what's wrong with you? Like, we went shopping, like, after all of that happened. And we went shopping and we went to eat and stuff. They was enjoying it. I enjoyed it, but I, I, I had that on my mind all day. I didn't want to tell nobody because I wanted to kind of investigate that and get, you know, some more information from, from Jesus. Like, you know what, Lord, what are you trying to tell me? But... I, I put it all together it, and when the young guy told me in a dream the, the Mexican guy he was telling me he said when he said um, I'm not ready yet I'm thinking that was me my inner me uh, speaking on myself saying you know Jesus want to take me but I'm not ready yet and he basically was saying it too like you know it's some things you need to work on before I come back, but you need to do it soon. Um, the things that, you know, I needed to work on in my life was I was, I was in it and then I was of the world, but I wasn't all the way a Christian. And why I say that is because, um, I was partying, remember? I was still hanging out with my friends, um, going to the bars. Um, I really wasn't drinking. I, the only thing I would drink is wine. I'm not, I was not a drunker, a drinker like that, but that's still, I was still in the bars. Um, just hanging with people of the world. And the people that I hung with, um, some of them was of the world people. They were not Christians. And I think that's what, he was telling me like you need to get yourself all the way prepared and there's some other things that I needed to um repent on and work on as well that I didn't do um that's how I took it so after that I, I had to cut the bars out I, I couldn't do it no more. I had to tell people like, look, I can't, I can't go there no more. We gotta find like something else to do. Go eat, go to the movies. I don't know, much ain't open right now, but it's gotta be something better. It's gotta be something better than I do because I ain't going to hell for nobody. And that warning he gave me, I'm taking it. I'm not playing with him. He ain't playing with us either. So, is that was a warning for me? To save myself and my soul. And I'm going to abide by it. I am going to listen him, to him. Because, you know, we all have dreams. And he be giving us warnings. And we still end up doing the same thing over and over again. But, y'all, he's not, he's not playing. He's coming back soon. And I felt that in my soul that he is he is near. If When I woke up, it felt like he is near. He is He is ready. And he trying to wake up us all Christians up. And that's why we all are having rapture dreams and all kind of stuff. You know, it, it, it's it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, so that was the reason he was giving me that warning. He was telling me to straighten up now or you're going to be left behind. And I just thank him for um, just thank him for giving me visions and dreams constantly like that for warnings. And that's what he does to us. He gave us warnings. He loved us so much that he don't want none of us to go to hell. He don't want us to perish at all. And I just thank him for that, Lord. I just, I think about that dream all the time. And this is my first time even opening my mouth up to, to talk about this. Because I've been, I've been really studying him and praying and asking him, you know, if this were me, I need to go ahead and tell it. But I still have not told my friend um, about this dream when we had it, when we was out of town. And... It, it really disturbed me. It shook me to my core. It scared me to where I am scared straight now. Uh, Y'all, I don't go to the bars anymore. 
I, I'm, I'm doing right. I'm doing everything that a Christian is supposed to do. I done knocked a lot of stuff off. Um, I got rid of a lot of um, people who does not to not need to be in my life. Um, I just I just woke up. I really did. I thought I was I was good. I was straight. I was a Christian, but I really wasn't. I, I wasn't all the way right. And now I am living right for the Lord because when He comes, I want to be ready. And I just pray that you all be ready to um, get saved. Whoever's never 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 got saved, please get saved and and repent because I know I did. I, I don't I did. I did, I did, I did. But I just wanted to share this with you all and I thought it was necessary to share it. God bless. Love you all.